Hey folks, Kevin here. Um, big update today. Uh, Exo is now open source, so it's publicly available. Uh, so I added the server and the app here to uh, this GitHub repo. You can find it here. It's GitHub at XOAIHQ. Um, and so there's this main page. And then if you click here, you can find the repositories. So there's two of them. There's the app, which is the Electron app and the server. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to show uh, how to uh, clone these, pull them down locally, get the environment variables and get everything up and running. Um, so well, we're just going to go through that now. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the server. Um, so you go to the server, you copy this, and then I'm just going to add it to this location. And I'm going to call it um, uh, XO server example. All right, so that's cloning. So now I'm going to go and um, let's see, CD XO. All right, so now I'm going to grab the uh, app. So here's the app. And a lot of the details here are in the readme about how to do this. Uh, if you scroll down, here's like a demo video. And then here's how to um, get everything installed. But obviously, this video is showing you how to do it. So um, let's see here. downloaded um i cloned the repos um, from github uh server in the app and now i'm just opening them up in vs code um so there they go i'm gonna yarn install on both of them to get the dependencies so this is the app over here in this window is the server um, and then here they are in vs code opened up and ready to go so um, the first one we're going to do is the server um, so the only thing you have to do is up, is update the .env file. Um, so here's an env example. Um, I added this stuff down here below. Um, it's not needed. This is stuff that you can use to uh, do a Google search, uh, Slack integrations. Um, I'm building an Exo GitHub app, and this is some information about that. I just left it in there for now, but um, this is the information that you need. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have another project. Uh, that has this information. I'll show you how to get it. So uh, the backend is hosted on Superbase. So Superbase is basically a, a Postgres wrapper, or a, a, a database hosting provider for Postgres. Super powerful, really like it. Um, and then um, you set up an account and then you go to this button down here, which is um, settings, and then you go to API. So this is the public URL for the backend. And then this is the uh, anon for um, basically the API key. And so I have these two, you grab these two, you copy this, copy this, and uh, and you add this to this location here. So um, I have mine, so I'm just gonna copy it. Here's the API key I added. Um, here's the URL. Um, this is the database ID right here. So you can see that you just copy it from this URL and you put it right there. Um, and then uh, the password. Um, so this is going to be the password that you created when you created your um, account. So just make sure you store that somewhere. Um, I'm going to bring this off screen and add my OpenAI key. All right. So I got all that set up. Um, and so the other thing you have to do is if you look in the package um, and if you look on how to get this up and, go, up and running, uh, you have to create the database schema. So basically what will happen is you have to um, basically set up the database schema locally. Um, and the way to do this is, is we follow the information, the instructions on how to get the Superbase CLI. So Superbase CLI, if you just type in Google, Superbase CLI, whoop, CLI, not SLI. And then there's information about basically just how to download this. Uh, and so do that. Um, and then if you look here, there's a way to get the, um, basically create your database. So it's gonna create your Postgres database. Here's the reason why you put your password in there and your database ID. If folks have uh, problems with this, uh, with this step, just ping me and I can kind of walk you through that. I may also just create another video on, on how to do that, but that basically requires you to download the Superbase CLI and get that started. So I already did that. Um, 
Actually, you know what? I don't think I did do that. So let's see if I can do this here. So yarn on that. There we go. Oh, forgot to rename the .env file. So I'm just going to pull this over here and All right, so I renamed the .env file here, and then I'm just gonna run this. So this failed um, because I already did this. Uh, and so my uh, backend database is already running. You can tell that it's running if you go to your, uh, if you go to Superbase, you can see all your tables here. So here's like customers, code file, uh, account, you know, messages, um, these are all the entities in the database. And so once you run this, you'll find those in the database. And that's kind of how you prove that it worked. Um, so actually I'm going to yarn run, uh, dev here in the server, cause that should work. Um, there we go. That's up and running. And then I'm going to yarn run, uh, start is the start command for the app. Uh, it uses electron forge, which is kind of this build and package, uh, tools for electron. Um, and that will basically get everything up and running for you. And it's going to, once it runs, this popped up in another window, but this is the app. Um, so this is the uh, EXO app. And so you'll wanna create a um, account. So here's the, if you just click on sign up, you can create an account. I have one already. Um, and just gonna prove that this is working. I forgot to put in the information for the app. Um, so here it is. And there is a .env example here. So basically it's the exact same information that you put in the other and the back end. So you can just copy that in there. Uh, I'm gonna do that over here. So here we go. So here's uh, the Superbase key and the URL, and I am going to just rename this. This is the app. I'm going to rename this to .env. There we go. Now we should work. So uh, look, this is already uh, running. Um, there's a lot of cron jobs that basically make sure that all the code in the background has all the uh, summarizing fields and all the information. Here's an embedding being created. So that's super cool. We already see that's starting to work. Um, so I just restarted the Electron. Uh, app here, and that will basically spin it up with the new environment variables that we have uh, that are pointing to the back end that we have here. So the Electron app just popped up in this screen here, and then my user, I'm just going to double check that um, my user is the right one. Superbase is super cool. Um, you can go right here to off, and you can see your users. Um, so here's some of my users here. So I have Cam Grassi uh, 15 or 14 through 17. So I'm just going to grab this one and then go to Electron. Oh, I already logged me in. So um, I must have had a uh, variable set up for, for this in the uh, Electron. Um, actually, you know what? I logged in with uh, 15, so it, it stored that. So um, what you can see here is um, I already have a uh, uh, repository indexed. So this is the server that I indexed. Um, the way that you index files is uh, you select a repo here. And then let's see, why don't we do uh, it's so public. Um, actually, we'll do the example app because it's a little bit smaller. Um, so then you hit save. And then what will happen is it'll pop up here and saved. And then you just hit this button. It'll be a little up arrow with paper. You'll see it in a second to index. But um, the way that you can see that this is um, being indexed is you go to your database and Superbase, again, super cool. You just go to code file, which is how all the code is stored. And you look and here's the embedding, the file explanation, path, uh, file name, all this stuff gets updated here um, so that you can search it.
here's the content of the file, right? So this is actual code. Uh, let's see how this is working here. Still hasn't shown up here. Let's just refresh this. So this is the way to refresh the app. You also can hit Control R. Oh, I just showed up. Whoops, too fast. Uh, here we go. So here's uh, the app, Exo app example directory. And so you see here zero files, so you have to index them. And it's going to say, this takes a while to index. Do you want to do it? Yes. Um, so that's going to go and index. And if you look at the back end, um, it sent all these files here. Look, at they're all created. And now it's um, adding, using the language model to add all the details to it. So that's pretty much it. You're up and running. Um, this one already has the server there. So I'll, you could just say, uh, can you find the uh, uh, file that handles routing? And so since you already have all the files indexed, so here's like session routes, um, uh, here's the routes, here's the routes for the AI created code. So um, you can see that it's it's able to do uh, some some stuff with your with your repo. So um, there's the repo tab, the scratch pad tab. This is where if you want to just code written to the scratch pad, it'll show up here. You can also paste code that will be reference code. And then the searches where your search um, uh, shows up. You can also use this this uh, um, this field to search to, um, and then your repos are here. The other things you can do with repos, re, uh, the repos is refresh them, right? So that if you are developing and and they're not up to date, you can hit refresh, and that'll add the new files and make sure that the old the files that you changed will uh, will be refreshed. Um, you can add files, which will it will trigger the app will ask you to say, oh, well, why don't we just do this? And so basically what's gonna happen here is it says, okay, so I set this location um, and then you can type here and add whatever file you want. You can say, I want a TS file that, you know, routes, blah, 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 based on the express server. And so that's, uh, that's how you do that. Here we go. We see all the files were added for this XO app example. And so we're kind of off to the races here. Um, so that's how we get the, um, everything up and running. You basically pull down the clone the repos uh, set up your um, Superbase account, set up your OpenAI account. I didn't show how to do that, but that's there's lots of uh, tutorials on how to get your OpenAI uh, account and access key. And then you're off to the races. So thanks for watching.